Hey, what's going on people? I hope you guys are doing good. Today we're gonna to be talking about a newly released Samsung app known as Enhance X. You can download this app in the Galaxy Store. I'll show you where to find it here in just a minute. And it's a really fun app that uses AI to fix your photos. It can digitally enhance them in terms of bringing back resolution or fixing blurry photos or just enhancing them altogether by decreasing noise, increasing sharpness, and making things a little bit more vibrant. It's almost like Samsung's version of Snapseed, which we'll be comparing later on in the video. Before we dive into the video, I do have a couple of announcements for you. First and foremost, I apologize about my voice. I know I sound like Vecna with herpes in the throat, and that's because I'm recovering from strep. So sorry, Dennis, I hope you don't catch it. I won't breathe on you. Keep your distance. My breath probably stinks anyways. Secondly, I am holding a giveaway with a couple friends, Jeff and Shane. Those details can be found in the description of this video. Just click the link. It will take you over to uh, the website where you can sign up and do all the things that you need to do in order to enter the giveaway. Giving away several prizes. It looks pretty fun and you guys should have a good time entering. So check down in the description for all those details. Also, it'll be in the pinned comment. But that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the video. If you want to download this app, it's completely free. You're going to go into the Galaxy Store. Then you're going to do a search for Galaxy Enhance X and you'll see it pop up right here. Just tap on it and give it a download. Like I said, it costs you nothing. It's completely free for Samsung users and it's really cool. So let's go ahead and dive into the app and take a look around. As soon as you open up the app, it's really straightforward and simple. It just asks you to select a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my albums. I'm going to select this picture of my wife right here, which is a low light selfie. You can see there's a lot of noise in the background. It's also not the most flattering picture simply because of the flash and whatever is going on with the screen on the phone. Um, on the bottom here, we have a few options. We have HDR, we have brighten, fix blur, sharpen. If we go under more, we have fix more, remove reflection, face and portrait. For this, we're just gonna tap this little magic wand symbol over here on the right, which is basically adding magic. It's gonna use AI to determine what this photo needs. So we're gonna go ahead and let it enhance the image. And there we go. So if I swipe over, this is before, and then this is after. I'll put both pictures up on the screen so you can see them side by side. And that's a pretty big difference. Granted, I'm not a fan of all the skin smoothing that's happening, but that's okay. We can go under more, then go under face, and then just drag down the smoothness, then hit the check mark, and that looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit more natural. But look at the noise in the background. It completely got rid of it. It brightened up the background. It kind of balanced out the brightness on her face a little bit more. And it just makes her look a little bit more alive, a little bit more healthy. It brought some color to her face. So that's how it works with a nighttime portrait shot. I'm definitely a fan of that. Let's go ahead and import a few more photos. So here's another example. I have a moonshot that I took on the S22 Ultra. I really love the moonshots that you can take with this phone. They're very unique. And the fact that you can get this close to the moon with a smartphone is kind of unreal, but they're not perfect. As you can see, it's really blurry and it lacks detail. And this is where this app really shines. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap the auto button, let it do its thing. It's adding some magic, perfecting the pixels, and then it enhances the image. Let's go ahead and see what it comes up with. And I've done this once or twice before, and I can tell you the results are really good. So this is before, and that's after. I'll put the results side by side on the screen. Let me know what you think of the difference between before and after. That's pretty crazy. It really brings out the detail in the moon. It fixes the weird color cast, and it just makes the image much better. And that's crazy that this came from a smartphone. You could also tap on something like fix blur, and then if there's any blur remaining in the image, it should fix that and get rid of it. So yeah, it actually made it a little bit sharper. So how about that? That's, that's pretty awesome. I'm a fan of that. If you're happy with the results from the fixed blur, just hit the check mark and then that will be saved. And if you're happy with the photo altogether, you can tap the save button in the top right. You can save it at the original resolution and there you go. Next up, I have this photo right here of a fountain. You can see it has a lot of dynamic range already, but let's see if we can bring out even more dynamic range by tapping on HDR. So we'll go ahead and tap on that, let it run its AI magic and see what it, it can come up with. So there we go. So we're right now we have different stages of HDR. We have zero, one, two, three, and four. It's right in the middle on two. So this is before and that's after. 
I mean, those results are pretty incredible. Let's go all the way to four. Wow, look at that. I mean, it doesn't look natural by any means, but if you like a punchy, vibrant, bright look, that could be a win for you. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I'm not saying that it looks terrible. It doesn't look crazy artificial. It just looks insane for HDR. But of course you could dial it back to like even one. So before, after. Much more subtle. Well, I think a lot of people would prefer that. Personally, I'm a fan of two. I think two is, is a good balance. So before, after. Let me know what you think of the HDR inside of uh, the Enhance X app. Here's another example. I have a really dim photo right here. It looks good, don't get me wrong. Like if we punch in, you can see the noise reduction worked really well. It's just a dark photo. Let's tap on Brighten and let it run its AI magic and see what it can do with this picture. Let's go ahead and give it a second. Doesn't take long. And any minute now, there we go. And just like HDR, we have different levels down here. We have zero, one, two, three, and four. Right now it's on two. So this is before and then after. Pretty subtle, but I can see the difference. Let's go ahead and crank this all the way up to four. Before and after. Wow. That looks incredible. So we'll go ahead and hit the check mark. Go ahead and save that. Now let's see what happens if we combine this with HDR. This is probably gonna be a disaster, but I wanna see what it can do. Let's go ahead and let it run its little AI magic. And there we go. So this is on two. So we have before and after. Before, after. That's a little too crazy for me. So let's dial this back to one. So we have, let's see, before and then after. That actually looks pretty damn good. I mean, we can punch in. Plenty of dynamic range in the windows, not a whole lot of noise at all. Actually, I don't see any noise. That looks really good. So the AI is definitely working here. Okay, so I have one more example for you. I have a picture of my wife and I. This was taken with the wide angle on the back of the phone. It's not a portrait mode shot, but we're gonna turn it into a portrait shot. So I have the picture pulled up. I'm gonna go under more. I'm gonna tap portrait. It's gonna use AI and process the subject from the background. And look at this, that's before and that's after. It did a really good job at cutting us out and blurring the background. You can also adjust the blur so you can crank it all the way up to seven to give a extreme blur if that's something that you're going for. It looks a little unnatural to me. But you want something more natural, you can dial it back to like two or three and it will give you more of a natural look. So this is before and then after, so check that out. Looks pretty good. You also have different effects. So you have different lighting effects like studio, uh, high key mono, you have low key mono, you have uh, backdrop, you have color pop, which will basically take all the color out of the background, but leave the color in the subject. So before, after, and of course you can dial down or dial up the uh, amount that the effect is being applied. You also get different bokeh effects. So next to color pop, we have spin. So it's gonna add like a spin effect to the bokeh. So let me go all the way over. You can see the bokeh is kind of like swirly. Next to that, we have zoom. So it adds that zoom bokeh effect, kind of cool. And last but not least, we have big circle. So again, gives you that big circle bokeh and you can dial it up or dial it down if you're happy with the image, you could just hit the check mark and save it. And just in case you're wondering how the Enhance X app compares to something like Snapseed, here's a couple photos side by side. I use the auto tune or auto enhance feature inside of Snapseed. And again, I just use the AI powered auto feature inside of Enhance X. And you can see the Enhance X app actually does, for the most part, a better job than Snapseed. But I guess it just comes down to your taste. Snapseed is a better app, I feel, overall, if you want manual control. It's an excellent app. It provides tons of manual controls, and there's a lot of fine-tuned adjustments that you can do inside of that app, and it's free as well. But if you're looking for something that's fast, simple, and easy to use, the Enhance X app, powered by AI, is fantastic. So there you go. That was a quick look at Samsung's new Enhance X app. 
I think it's pretty cool. I definitely think it's an added perk to owning a Samsung phone. And I really like that Samsung pushes out apps every once in a while to bring new features to Galaxy devices. But it is kind of confusing because I wish instead of having all these separate apps that you have to locate and download, they just put them inside of the software. But I guess for a lot of people, if you don't want tons of bloatware, this is a way that you can download the apps that you actually want on your phone versus having them automatically get installed on your phone and you'll never use them. I'll drop a link to the Enhance X app down in the description to save you a little bit of time. Let me know what you think of the Samsung Enhance X app down in the comment section. And while you're down there, go ahead and check out that giveaway. That link once again can be found in the description as well as the pinned comment. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I'm currently losing my voice. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to talk. So I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.